What's happening, fish and friends? Welcome to a fun episode today because we're going to be doing some more lure painting. Now, I know a lot of you aren't into the lure painting stuff, but you might want to stick around to the end of this one because there just might be something in it or a couple things in it for one of you. Now, specifically today, I wanted to do something black and blue. Yeah, if you watched my last video, I did fall in. That was fun. But I was also having some luck on the black and blue jig before it started completely raining on me. I got drenched. Uh, luckily, my GoPro didn't get ruined, but having good luck on the black and blue jig, and that's for us, a lot of uh, jig fishing around here, black and blue is good because we have those blue crawfish. So I figured, you know what, let's try to paint a black and blue crawfish type square bill. Heck, maybe even this weekend I'll go out and test it. But uh, I figured, I thought now would be a good time to do it. So let's stop yapping. Let's go start painting. All right, so this black and blue craw, I think I'm going to use this square bill. This is that S-crank type. It looks like the Mega Bass uh, crankbait that they have. I forget what it's called, but kind of that S shape, a little bit bigger size compared to got some around here somewhere. That's like a Lucky Craft 1.5. So you can see the size difference there. Definitely bigger. It's more like a 2.5 size, not the, uh, like the small 1.5, but we're going to do this. I think I'm going to start with a pearl blue. That's an Aztec. I'm going to do the belly in that color. So we've got a good light blue color for the belly and this color here, navy blue. I think we're going to do the top in navy blue. So a little bit darker blue color. I'm going to go over the top of this with some black and the lines, my craw lines that I use with my stencil here. That's just some mylar, some stuff like, you know, plastic stuff you can get off of Amazon. And I've just kind of cut my own. It's kind of tough because sometimes this stuff scratches it. So any of you all out there that paint your own lures, if you have any soft stencils, any good recommendations, let me know because sometimes these will scrape up that underpaint job. Um, this one I've actually put some pearl white on it. Uh, it was I was going to use it for something different, but it actually makes the outer coating a little bit tougher. So I figured this would be a, a good one to use for this. So let's get started. Let's do the bottom in this pearl blue and see what it looks like. I'm going to go just above that midline here, that right there, that lateral line that goes through. I want to stay right about there with the blue. From the top down, I'm going to bring that dark blue from the top down right to about that midline. That midline is going to be the transition. That's where I'm going to kind of put my crawl marks as we go through. So I'm going to try to stay below that. All right, that turned out looking pretty good there. You can see when I was spraying that, I sprayed at an angle. So I was holding it here and kind of spraying down at an angle at it. So that overspray kind of peppers up in here. You can see how that kind of fades down in. It's not a real hard line. It kind of just fades into that white. That's what we're looking for, a fade like that. Now, I'm going to go to this navy blue and do the same thing. Go from the top down at an angle to kind of fade right in the middle there. Kind of have where those two colors join. Tack with it. I'm going to put a drop of pearl white in here. Whoops, maybe I'll do two drops. That's all right. I was thinking I would have done one of these first to try. Nope, we're doing it on the fly here, folks. Experimentation time with Debo. This might turn out looking stupid. I'm sorry, I'm not a professional, folks. Amateur painting time with Debo. Hit that with the old heat gun just to dry this off. Don't want to be putting stencils on wet paint. It's no bueno, no bueno. If you don't speak French, that means not good. All right, so that's what we ended up with. I'm pretty happy with that. We're gonna do our spin on kind of the black and blue craw. You can see there that bottom is nice and light pearl blue as we go up into the top. It's still a pearl, but it's a much darker blue. And after we get our, our uh, craw stripes on here, we can even go over the top of this with just a little bit of black and that's gonna blacken up and darken even the top of this. So I like that. Let's move on to the stencil work. Okay, so for the stencil work, I'm gonna put this little stencil that I cut on. I cut a little notch right there for the bill of this to go in. I'm going to go there and bring that right up on the back like that. And I like to do this with my first one because then I'm going to line up my back, my side slots with this on the first side. I do everything on one side first and then I put the, the top deals on just to make sure those are going to line up. So I know exactly where I want my whole one side to be. All right. Now, when I'm spraying this, I'm spraying more on this actual stencil because I kind of want this overspray just to go off that. And that's what's going to make the good hard line with that stencil. So... And there we go. And that's what gives us that good hard crawl line just like that. And I'll just take another stencil and carry that right on through there. On the top, you can kind of see where that goes up on the top. I'll do my straight lines across the top. That way I know for sure the other side's going to line up. I've done it both ways. I've done where I put my top lines, but I mean, you can honestly do it either way as long as you get both sides to match up. Just connect that in there with a little black. That's not going to really matter. I'm going to darken up the face anyway once I put that on. So I kind of leave the front of that dark. So I'm going to go right here with it. Right about there and I'm going to use that ladder line right there you can see where that ladder line goes through on the bait I'm going to kind of use that as my gauge to see where I'm at with all these there we go another good hard line there and then I think to finish the back ones now just to make sure I don't smudge it 
in between, hit it with the heat gun. And then to finish this out, I think I'm gonna do some spikes. So I think like this, I'm gonna try to put that right on that lateral line right there. There we go, kind of give a spiky crawl look in the back there. You can do whatever design you want. That's the fun part of cutting your own stencils. You do it however you want. I did kind of a rigid first piece on that shell, rounded, and then three little spike ones on back. Now I'm gonna do my top part to make sure all those connect and I'll finish the other side. All right, raise the camera up there a little bit so you can see. And with this, I'm just gonna take it, oh, where is it? All right, there we go. So I just took those up across, continued those stripes all the way around so you can see now i can see when i go to the other side just like that exactly where those need to line up so let's do this other side two can i get a last one in this one i might have went a little bit too far back my bad and three that last one kind of got shorted sorry not as prominent as the other side then i'm darken up the back of this tail here too there we go that is our cross so you can see there both sides, we got pretty cool lines on it. I like that. I'm just gonna darken up the front here. All right, so I darkened up around the face there. I left kind of that back spot behind the gill just to kind of shadow some blue there so you can see the good, good hard lines there, good hard lines there. I like how that turned out. Now I think I'm gonna hit with just a little black on the top up here. Actually, you know what, instead of hitting it with hard black, let's do some, some flicks of it. There we go, added some black speckling up top that really breaks up the top of the there. You can see when we get to the bottom, bottom's still nice and clean with that pearl blue. So that's what we're looking like. Some hard lines, looking like a shell on there. I'm liking how that's looking from the side profile. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so let's finish up and do our little under pieces so where that shell would bend on the bottom, we have to put some lines across and I can show you here. For example, on this red one here, you put those lines across the bottom where that crawfish would curl up on the bottom. That's kind of the look that you get there. So that's another one I did with this kind of same pattern. It looks pretty cool on the 1.5. It really looks like a shell coming back there. I like how that one turned out. This is a different pattern I played with doing some kind of round pieces. But again, on the bottom, I kind of speckled that one on the gold and have our lines that go across. So that's what we're going to do now. Add those. See how that looks. Number three. And there we go. That's what it looks like once we bring those bottom lines up from the top. You can do as many as you want. I could do one up here, kind of at the head. I just colored the, the front of it in there black so those lines kind of all go down. You can see how it just sort of swoops around there. A lot of people will normally line that up with the gill line. That's what I try to do, but sometimes it's hard depending on the shape of the crank. So there we go. I did another one the other day. It didn't turn out as neat as this one. I'll show you that one too here. I've already got it dipped and hanging. That's what it looks like after you get the clear coat on it. I did a little bit different blue colors on this one. The bottom I did with the iridescent blue purple. So you can see here, kind of hard to see in the light, but when you twist it, it almost looks like a purple color down there instead of blue. So that turned out pretty neat. I did a little bit darker up on the top. I really wanted it to be like a dark black and blue. So really from the top, it almost looks black. And then once you get to that belly, it's kind of the bright blue. So that's the difference between the two. I like both of them. I don't know. Comment below and let me know what you all think. Which one you like more? Which color pattern? The brighter iridescent or kind of the more pearlized? But for this dude, we still need to get some eyes on it. So I'm going to go with just some regular black eyes. I think I'm just going to leave this like it is. I don't think I'm going to put any other speckling on it. I'm just going to leave the... The black speckling alone with the belly there. All right, for these eyes, I'm not doing anything insane. I'm going with a regular black eye. Because again, this is not supposed to look like a fish. It's supposed to look like a crawfish. And I know one thing people say is, well, this seems dumb. If it's a crawfish, wouldn't it be swimming the other way? Yeah, I mean, technically it would be, but you know, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna work with this. There we go, that's the black and blue crawfish. Try to mimic some of those black and blue craw around here. I know the jig does a really good job of that, but. Let's see if the square bill will too. Now I should probably, since I'm going to give this to somebody out there, actually, you know what? I'm going to give somebody both of these. You're going to get a two pack. Comment below and let me know if you like the black and blue. If you want to be entered, uh, comment something and say, I don't know what to have you say. I've never done a giveaway on my channel. Honestly, I've never done a giveaway because I didn't want people just joining just for free stuff. I wanted you to watch my show, like it for what it is. Uh, and then if I can give away something at some time, I will. So I figured, you know what, with painting these baits, I've got a P.O. box now. I figured now would be a good time to give some of these away. So I don't know. Just say, enter me in the drawing and let me know which one you like, the top one or the bottom one. If you have other color suggestions, let me know as well. I always like hearing from all of you. But comment below. Let me know if you want to be entered. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign this one. 
I regret signing it there. That that didn't turn out well. Maybe I should have signed it on the belly where it's flat. That would have made more sense. But I ran out of I ran out of room on the Debo. <laughs> That's okay. It's not going to cost you anything. All right, so let's go dip this. Okay, so for the dipping process on this, just going to dip it in the KBS. This is what I've been trying. It's okay. Seems to be a little bit of finicky sometimes. Sometimes I'll get a little bubbling around the eyes. I notice when I use super glue. That's why I did not use super glue on this. Um, I think you have to let it dry for maybe a couple days, but as long as it's the eyes are good and sticky and I'm doing this right away, I just do it as is. So we're going to dip this baby. Got my little hanging wire on here. Dip it in slowly, bring it up and out like that. You can already see how much that gloss brings that stuff out. It just completely changes the way that bait looks. Daggum, I gotta tell you, this stuff stinks like heck. All right, got my little drip wire here. So that's what I've got there. Put that drip wire on, that way it does not collect on the actual lure. All right, move this over to my box that I built here. This is my box. I just ran some wooden dowels across here. You can already see I've got other stuff in here drying. If y'all follow me on Instagram, that's how that little shad deal turned out. I tried to do some freehand up on the front. Yeah, my freehand is crap. I'm not an artiste, but that shad pattern looks neat. This was that Easter color lipless, some pastels, yellows, pinks, and purples. That one turned out neat. Did a little spin-off of a fire tiger, something just a little bit different looking there. On oh, that guy, oh yeah, he's one of my favorites that I've done yet. Some blue and natural colors, that turned out looking pretty sweet. Did a little bit of jerk bait magic there too. Got some kind of gold, greenish up front. I painted the lip, I said to heck with it. I'm gonna paint the lip first and I taped that off. I've never seen anybody do that. So just kind of a natural minnow color there. I thought that one turned out kind of neat. All right, now this stuff stinks. It's horrible. Whenever I dip the KBS, um, I make sure to cover it up quick because it stinks really bad. I'm gonna plug in my vent here. That gets my little vent going. That runs all the way up here to my window. I ran that out with a dryer deal there blows right out you can see that dryer vent open I've got my window cracked open about up to here so it just blows all these fumes out that way with this here this little rubber made deal I can just put the top on it like so I've got a hole cut in the front that way you can pull air in here goes out through that tube out the window and it actually helps it dry a little bit quicker too so there he is and they're drying all right fish and friends there you have it painting the black and blue cross square bill start to finish even doing the finishing process which is not my favorite I hate dipping and epoxying that's like my least favorite but start to finish there it is now make sure you comment below and let me know what you think which pattern you liked more and if you'd like to be entered in the drawing I can certainly do that I will I don't know give it maybe a week or so do that drawing and pick one of you. I'll send it out, ship it to you. I'll just have to get your address and such. So for tonight, tonight's subscribe fish and friend goes to the Bass Geek. If you haven't checked out his channel, please do so. He is a great dude, about as genuine as they come. Uh, I'm very appreciative for meeting him and being able to talk to him and share ideas back and forth. He's a super good dude, about as real as they get. So please do me a favor. Go follow his channel. If you like my stuff, you like his. He does a lot of how-tos, pointers. He's extremely smart, far smarter than I am at bass fishing. So... Make sure you go check out his channel, and thank you everybody else out there who watches and supports me. Again, my channel would be nothing without all of you, so that's going to do it tonight from the dungeon. i got to get to bed. It's late, so thanks for watching, and until next time.